So his family did not hold back, specifically his aunt. Ooh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah. your auntie gonna tell all the good business. Yes, absolutely. Lamar Odom and Khloe Kardashian. Yes. All right. This story is a <laughs> bumpy ride. It is. <laughs> you know, for any woman that ever comes into my life, you know, if you want to stay there, I don't ever compare yourself to Khloe Kardashian because what she did for me, you could never do. And he talks about putting her in some scary situations from destroying your house with golf clubs and all kind of wow. craziness that he talks about. Yeah. And on top of that, you know, when it came down to the scare that he had at the Bunny Ranch where he almost lost his life, at the time they weren't even together. And she still, once he made it past the point of almost dying, she was there with him to nurse him back to health. So I think that's where his loyalty to Khloe Kardashian but lies. But Auntie said. <laughs> Auntie, Auntie definitely said, said that so, she wanted to pull that plug. Uh, yeah, so Auntie came with all the, the tea for the episode, as they say. They brought us out there to say goodbye to Lamar. But he fooled you, didn't he? So you get a vivid visual of what was happening behind the scenes when Lamar was, you know, about to die. And um, essentially, there was a point where the Kardashians' family like almost had this scripted out and they, they wanted, Chloe wanted to pull the plug on Lamar. Yeah, and they're like, NDA, what are <laughs> exactly, you talking about? Exactly, yeah, like they were like, we're not signing nothing. Exactly. Well, he really touched on his story with Mark Cuban. Yes. I was surprised yes. he put that out there. I was too. Being traded to Dallas probably, I would say, was like the low of my NBA career. You know what I mean? I'm dealing with this eccentric owner my cousin just got killed. And so I'm telling him, yo, I really don't want to come, but because of business, whatever. I'm gonna come, I'm letting him know how up mentally I am. And I'm really abusing pills at the time. From Lamar's standpoint, you know, if you read the news and read the headlines about the story, I mean, it was one of those where he understood that as owner he wanted more, but he also understood as a man, like, you're not going to disrespect Exactly. Him. And so I think that's where he knew he had to progress and move on from I that situation. I just don't think you can get the best out of people by kicking them. You can't. You can't. You can get the worst out of me, or you can get the <laughs> best of these hands. You can catch these <laughs> hands. Exactly. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> My mother angry saying in my wedding, you lied of my life. I was so angry at my mother. Niecy Nash on an all new Uncensored next Sunday at 9 on TV One. Y'all come back now. You hear?